Hello, welcome to the Football Christmas Quiz, and today we are joined by the one and only Nepenthes. How are you doing, mate? I'm all right, mate. How are you doing? Not bad at all. I think the first time we recorded, the video went up on Christmas Day, but we're slightly early this year. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Nice little Christmas present for everyone. So I've got two things for you before we begin. First of all, is Luke's tree a Christmas tree, yes or no? If it is, whose is better, mine or his? Mm -hmm. And the winner gets a point, right? Yeah, extra point, extra point on the board for the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, into the first question, Nap. It is a who wants to be a millionaire? Air style question. Yeah, like the easy one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty well, relatively. And the question is, Net, which of the following stadiums does Charlton Athletic play at? Is it the Den, the Valley, the New Lawn, or the Hawthorns? The Valley. It is the Valley for one point, well, isn't it? When you said the Den, I was like, yeah, oh man. Ooh. I was like, no, let me just go with my instincts, you know? If you overthink, think. That's an, oh yeah, we're using that. That's the quote of the day. Yeah. <laughs> right, into the next round is a football connect. So I'm going to tell you four different players and you get a guess per player at the club that all four of them have played at at some point in their career. Gotcha. And the first player I will give you for five points is Kevin Prince Boateng. And I have to guess the club. Just a random club in his career. Frankfurt. It's not on track, Frank, but that's a good guess, though. The next player is Gerard Delafeu. Hey, it's an Italian club or a Spanish club. I'm surprised he's not one of those ones that comes up a lot when, when you you know, like your um, like your Boatings, I suppose, has been everywhere around the block. delafeu has been around the block a lot as well. It's definitely going to be one of the Spanish clubs. Barcelona? It is Barcelona. For Come, on. Well done, Nep. Come on! Absolutely smashed it. He did play for Sevilla as well, Delafeu, yeah, in yeah. Spain. And I think AC Milan would have been another club that's similar, but the last two players were Neto the goalie yep. and then Gerald Piquet. That's, that's a pretty give me for the last one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well done. Getting it on the first two. Gets you three points. Come on now. How's it? How's everyone else been doing? Like, What's the tally been? So top of the minute is Jamie Hutchinson, if you know that comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with 21 points. Jack Mate with 20 points. James Alcott with 17. And Joe Tomlinson with 17. So I've got four already. We barely started, mate. Let's go. Going to the top. Right then, into the next round. It is a guess the footballer. So I'm going to tell you five clubs that the players played for. Obviously, five points for the first club. One point for the last. And the first club I will give you, Nap, is Roma. Guess the footballer for Roma. Yeah. The five clubs. Mm -hmm. Our. Like they could have more than five. It's not our. It's a good, good start. Um, the next club I will give you is PSG. And they're, are they currently at Roma or they've just played for Roma and PSG? They played for those clubs at some point in their career. They don't have to be current at those okay. clubs. Are they still an active like player or is this like retired players included? They are included, but you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to reveal to I don't want to just say yes, it's a you know active or yes, it's a non-active. Okay. But no, what I'm asking is it, it can be like retired players as well. Yeah, yeah it can yeah. be retired okay. as well. Yeah. So Roma and PSG. It's not some random player that you definitely know who it is. So don't don't worry about that. I definitely know who it is, yeah. I don't know if he's ever played for Roma, but the the Italian connections there. I'm gonna go Scriniar. It's not Scriniar. They play for Inter, of course. Uh, the yeah. next club I will give you, give you Barcelona next. Roma and Barcelona. Mate, I'm, I'm just not there. I'm just not connecting the dots. This is going to be one of those ones where I hear it and I'm like, yeah, obviously. Barcelona, PSG. You know, PSG don't really have that many well-known footballers that have moved around a lot. Who, who do they play for now? Uh, I'll give you that club um, shortly. Okay, so they're no longer at any in, of those of clubs. The uh, but, well, there, there's something you've learned. Yeah, you've but yeah, they are an active there. player. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, you've got, you've absolutely <laughs> solved the case there. Just, oh, um, geez, Barcelona, Roma. Hey, I, I, I genuinely don't know. I can't, like, I can't even hazard a guess because I just don't know. Like, no, nah, mate, I'm, I need another club. I haven't even got a guess. I haven't even got a guess. I just don't club. know. Let me give you a bit of Aston Villa next. And is this the sequence with which they moved or is this just four clubs that they've played for? It, so I, I do it in least obvious to most obvious last. Okay. So. Mate, I, honestly, I, you might as well just tell me the last club because I'm I'm not there with it. The last club is Everton, not necessarily his current club. Gomez. You're going for Andre Gomez. Yeah, that's all I've got. I, I, I just don't, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to go mm. with. It's not Andre Gomez, unfortunately. You should know him, Nap. He's a defender. He's at Aston Villa now. Oh, is it Luca Dean? He's French. Yeah. It's Luca Dean, yeah. <laughs> Mate, I just wouldn't have got that in a month of Sundays. I was not, like, I, yeah. I was I was just not, I wasn't there. My head wasn't there. I was going to give you Kilo Navas, but he's got, like, Costa Rican teams. Yeah, that'd have been too easy. It's a bit tricky to get five with him. Yeah, but obviously the Real Madrid PSG and then Nottingham Forest knocks out so easily. Yeah. But yeah, Dinier's a bit more sneaky. You don't really remember him at Roma, PSG, or even Barca, to be honest. It's more now he's in the Premier League. I would never, like, you remember yeah, him. yeah, for me, Barcelona's won... I don't think I would have ever, ever pictured him 
It can't have been recent, right? It must have been when he was like 18 or something. It was 2016 to 18, but he only played 29 games. So he was like back up left back to Jordi Alba, I think. Yeah, the fact so he like, even played yeah. 29 games is massively surprising. Yeah, <laughs> like... I know. You don't really remember him there. Oh, yeah. you don't. Fair enough. Nil poir for that round, unfortunately, Nat. Ah, man, it's, you put me on a pedestal, man. You was like, look, you're about to go to the top, and then boom. Knock you down. Yeah, that's it. Right, into the next round it is tic-tac-toe. What would you like to start with on the grid, Nat? Uh, England. England. So you get a point per correct answer on the grid, and then if you get a three in a row, it's a bonus three. Love so that. lots to play for. Ooh, where's a niche England player played? Nah, we'll go for... I want to say Roma, but people will scream at me because I always pick Roma. <laughs> and it's quite easy for English. Um, let me go. Yeah, I'll go AC Milan. Yeah. That'll do. Have you ever thought about putting like positions in here? Because it might be easy for like AC Milan, like goalkeeper. It's, it's quite easy positions, to be honest. Yeah. I, th I, th I can't really. It's just I can't accept it. That's part. fine. Let's go for, yeah. make it like slightly easy and a little bit harder, depending on where you put the player. But we'll go, uh, we'll go Chelsea. Yeah. What English team do I do? Let's go for a bit of Newcastle. La Liga. Title. Or just, just anyone just, from the league. Yeah, just anyone from the league. Anyone from the league. I'll let you have it, Matt. Go on then. Well, last time I did this with you, I made it so unbelievably difficult. We were sitting there for about 45 minutes just trying to figure out Chinese league players that had played for like Luton or something. We've had three turns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've had three turns. I'll end off with it's probably a trophy then. Let's go for a Bundesliga title. Yeah, there you go. What would you like to start with? I'll start with La Liga Bundesliga title, actually, and go for Lewandowski. Yeah, Lewis got a handful. I really... Uh, do I take... I mean, there's two, there's two to be fair. Now we'll go AC Milan England tomorrow. Could have got Beckham. Yeah. And there's another one. Does it count for Jamal Musiala because he was English when Bayern won the title before he adopted Germany? Uh, I don't think I'd count him because, yeah, he's German now. All right, fair enough. Just so Kuk and Thompson, you know, get annoyed at me <laughs> for his invisible show. All right, what else have we got? Who who else is England? English at Bayern. I have to go there. Oh, no, you okay. don't like I, I like I know mm. I don't know, but I'm I'm pretty sure Dortmund had an English player when they won the title. I can't remember who it is. Was Sancho there when they won the title? Was Bellingham there when they won the title? Or have Bayern just won it for like the last seven years straight? Chelsea Bundesliga mm. title. I mean, for that I want to say like Balak. Like a bit of an easy one, isn't he? You wanna go Michael Balak then? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go Michael Balak. I'm sure he's won one with Bayern. Surely. For English Bayern does like a title, I think it is Bayern Munich only. Is it? Yeah. Obviously, if you're recording about seven months, it'll be Harry Kane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Michael Ballack's got, he's actually got one at Kleiser Schalten. Oh, Ballack that's interesting. Yeah. Bundesliga. And then three at Bayern Munich. So, yeah, that does work. But yeah, the one for Bundesliga English is Owen Hargreaves. I think oh, he's okay. the only yeah. one. Technically Canadian, mind you, but fair enough. Technically German and Welsh as well. He's got, he's got a lot. Right, so we've got to stop your tic tac toe <laughs> then and we'll just put Pope in that little gap there. Yeah, put the Pope in. He's from the Vatican, isn't he? All right, yeah. <laughs> Go for the middle. Chelsea and Newcastle. And we'll say Damien Duff. Yeah, it's a good one, that is. Yeah. Uh, for La Liga and Milan, I'll go with Bojan. Great, great shout. Gotta love him. Yeah, yeah. He's great for this series. It's just <laughs> he is, he is. See he is. fit in a lot, doesn't he? See his face. Newcastle La Liga. I wonder if... Um, there's a really niche one, actually. I'm going to try it. Sadu Dumbia did a little bit of Newcastle. And I think he went to... It's like Gijon or something like that. Oh, is that right? Girona. There we go. Yeah, were were they work. in the La Liga at the time, though, or La Liga 2? good shout, Nat. Yeah, he was in La Liga. He God. was, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I've done that in the past though. Like they've not been in the top league, but I've said they were. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Girona are like doing all right right now, but I think they only got promoted last yeah, season or the year before, in. didn't they? Yeah, they were relegated in that season though. But he did play in that season in yeah. the Liga. So, yeah, it does work. so for the final one, AC Milan Chelsea. Um, Shevchenko. Yeah, Andrei Shevchenko. Yeah. The other one I could have said for both the English and uh, Chelsea is uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek. Yeah, obviously just went there. Lovely. So you get one, two, three, four, five points for the tic-tac-toe which is pretty good other than getting a three in a row that's the best you could do i'm on what i'm on like 11 points or something am i maybe like 12 or 13, maybe, maybe like 18 or something like that i think five at three is eight and you're on nine points now come on man come on keep it moving Right, into your final round, the Panthers. Football on. tenable. Ten points up for grabs. And I've got quite, actually quite a good category that somebody suggested. And what I'd like you to name me are ten players with double-barreled surnames. Okay. I think with your so rare knowledge, you've got some aces up your sleeve. Well, I mean, I could literally just rattle off a Chinese team. I know that would be it, wouldn't it? But I don't think anyone would... Uh... <laughs> Engage with that. <laughs> We've got some obvious easy ones, haven't we? We've got Loftus-Cheek. There we go. I literally just told him yeah. about two seconds ago, Loftus-Cheek. Yeah, there we go. There's 
Peacock one. Bino Gittins. Bino Gittins is a great shout. Got uh, Peacock Farrell. Peacock Farrell. That's yeah, a great one. It is, yeah. Another one of those ones where it's like, yeah, I, I probably do know about like 7,000 of them, but they're yeah, bringing, bringing them to the forefront of the memory. There's a lot going on in this head that like, you know what I mean? I'll bury things like double barrel surnames. Uh, Calvert Lewin. Yep, Dominic. DCL. You have to give me moments and then cut out the pauses so it looks like I just rattle them off. Yeah, just smooth. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. That's what I do with my videos anyway. Smithrow. <laughs> yeah, Emil Smithrow. It's tenable. So that puts you on to five. Halfway there, Nep. Three lives still remaining. Oh, I can get errors. Do I lose a point if I make a mistake, though? I don't know how you'd make a mistake on this one, though, to be fair. <laughs> it's like, maybe it's like ones where there's no hyphen in there. Maybe that's... Yeah. yeah. I think so far, they're all, they're all hyphenated. Right, are they? Oh, they say that, Nep. Emil Smithrow has no hyphen, so that's one of your lives. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's outrageous, mate. Smithrow, <laughs> like, otherwise, it, like, he'd be known as Row, wouldn't he? Yeah, but it's no, there's no hyphen hyphen on his name when you look at the shirt yeah yeah but on, no no one has hyphens on shirts they do no 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 they don't they don't look at reuben loftus cheek but yeah emil smith i don't think i don't think i can count that nep unfortunately outrageous isn't it? i'm glad i uh check that out yeah i'm not <laughs> It's a, like, why do they call him then Smith Rowe instead of Rowe? I don't know. That's really strange, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost like they named the, when they're naming him, they didn't put the hyphen in there for on the shirt. So that should know. probably count, I reckon. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll know, let it slide, yeah. though. We'll let it slide. Who else have we got? You're missing a big one. I'll give you that. Ainsley Maitland Niles. Yeah, that's a massive one. There we go. He's at Marseille, I yeah. want to say. Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah. Got ability, but he just can't seem to hold down a good place in the club. Yeah, yeah, he does have a hyphen as well, so that does count. Uh, another ex Dolce boy, Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy. Let's see if that's hyphenated. If that's yes, not, it I'm is just indeed. Yeah. That is terrible. <laughs> so how many have I done now? Six now. One, two, three, four. Yeah, six so far, one life gone. So you got four remaining. He's still missing a big one. Missing a big one. Whenever you say things like that, I'm like, oh God, it makes me feel so stupid. Why is it a big one? Just like a massive player or like an obvious Arsenal player or something. He's a big football player. Like, you definitely know. Not very tall, but, you know. Very little. He's not very little, but he's not very big in that regard. Tell me more about this. Uh... I'm, I'm just throwing you absolutely awful clues. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like quite a few are English, to be fair. Yeah, there is not a lot. Not really any abroad. I'm just trying to like go through the memory bank of like when I'm putting my, my lineups together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'd say English is probably your best bet to go down. Oh, uh, so Trent. Obviously, yeah, it must there be the big go. one. Trent Alexander-Arnold, yeah. that is the big one. He's, he should have been the first Trent. one, shouldn't he? Um, mm -hmm. I think that's the reason I did this category, because he's got such a long name with the hyphen in. Yeah. It's another one you should probably remember. Must mean it's a, another Arsenal or ex-Arsenal player. Mm. Yeah, I've got, like, like, my head keeps going to, like, the Vans, like the Van Dykes <laughs> and the Van Bronckhorst and stuff, and it's like, that's not that's not where we're at. No. Not what we're looking for. Done me now. I'm now thinking about Arsenal players. You've had a few. Have we? Well, I mean, Arsenal players in general, you've had a lot. No, um, Ar Arsenal's Arsenal's not there for me. You know when like, you put yourself under pressure? Mm -hmm. And then I'm sitting there like, how hard can it be? There's like hundreds of them. Like I say, like like there there are infinite number of like Asian players, that, mm -hmm. but they also might not be like... Hyphenated. Yeah, hyphenated. Hyphenate. They might just be there like... Yeah, like, like, so I would say, like, Kim Day One, I know is hyphenated, but I don't know if you'll accept that. Do you know what? I'll let, I'll let you have Kim Day One. <laughs> yeah, go on then. He's got a hyphen. He has got a hyphen. But again, this is where it's like it gets into almost cheating territory because, like, then you've got like Zhong Tae Wook and Park Jin Siop, both that play for, um, I can't remember who they play for, but they, they're both hyphenated. But do they, like, do they count? Do you know what I mean? I think if we go elsewhere, we can get some other names on here now. No, no, no. But the, 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 the rules are double barrel surnames, aren't they? With a hyphen, yeah. Yeah. I just think, I think you can be more creative. <laughs> I think you can do some more interesting ones. I'll tell you, there's a Turkish one, actually. Like Turkish player? Yeah. You probably won't get it, to be fair. Tell me what position he plays. A striker. No, I, don't, I don't know who it is. No, nah, no, nah, you're not going to get that. What is his name? Colin Cousin Richards. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's still, I think he still plays, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he was at Derby two years ago. I think he's a free agent now. Yeah. I thought John Obi McKell there for a second, but he's got no iPhone. Yeah, I was thinking of like things like people like Jemba Jemba and stuff as well. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, there's no nothing in nothing in for him. There is actually one Dutch with a hyphen. Oh, is that, is that a woman? I think no, one of the no, women that's a... got an SBC right now in FIFA has got a oh, right. double barrel surname. If you know what it is, I'll let you have it. I don't. I don't. Well, that's a shame. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm fully ready to submit Rong Tae Wook and Park Jin Siop. <laughs> Okay, now. <laughs> Ooh, how can I give you a clue to these? There's, there's, there's a way of doing like a quick fire double kind of thing. Are they like that are brothers English. or something? Maybe. It's got the same names. But who are they? Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez, use your old Arsenal log. 
Knowledge from the 90s with Arsenal. Arsenal knowledge from the 90s mm-hmm. of two brothers. And that'll get you to these two brothers. Is part of the name again like a Oss. generic Smith? It's a generic name. Yeah, yeah the I, name. I, they're, they're, they're like... You definitely know these players, though, the brothers. Their dad might have played for Arsenal. I'll give you that, man. Oh, mate, you just made that too easy. The the, the too Asians easy. are easier. The, the Asians are better than that. So you've got Sean Wright Phillips and Bradley Wright Phillips. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Should we just put one? Should we put Sean on? Let's yeah, put Sean yeah, on. Yeah, put one Wright Phillips on. I couldn't think of a way of like giving like I was trying to go yeah think of Arsenal in the 90s but then yeah I just kind of gave it you yeah. still a few in the Premier League as well the, like English ones like well known players as well well known English players mm-hmm. not having that mate I would have guessed them by now he was in the England squad but not in the most recent oh Ward Prowse there we go yeah. now I'll take you 10 hey, that, that. that's actually is quite well, an obvious that. one isn't it that's pretty bad yeah the uh, Arsenal one that you've forgotten that Alex Axley Chamberlain. Oh, yeah. He's at uh, Besiktas now, I think. Yeah, he is. Uh, another yeah. Arsenal one. Rene Adelaide, if you remember him. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he's still active as well, isn't he? Yeah. Where is he? Is it Lorient or something? Yeah. Oh, no, he's gone to the Belgian League. Racing White Darling Molenbeek is where he plays. Oh, they, they only got promoted last season. They're terrible. Uh, who else is there on this? Uh, Car- uh, what's his name? Oh, the right Cameron back. Carter Vickers. Oh, wait. Oh, Carter yeah. Vickers might yeah, be. Yeah. yeah, it is him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Carter Vickers is the American. Sorry, I was, I was mixing up two names there. Yeah. And I was trying to say Walker Peters and Cameron oh, Carter Vickers. Oh, Carl Walker Peters, man. What an obvious one. Yeah. And, and look at that, man. As soon as I've, like the pressure's off, I'm like, oh, yeah, these guys. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I think there'll be a lot of the comments will be filling in for this. But I think, as you said, the, if you went down the Korean route or the Chinese route, I think you could just fill the entire thing, like yeah. the Sunbin Sun, for example. Yeah. Like that. Oh, I didn't even go first one either. Jesus. It's the most famous South Korean of all time, but yeah. But yeah, you've done well, Net. 19 points does put you, uh, I think that's third on the list. So that's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, but I'm, a, I'm actually a little bit disappointed in the double barrel surnames now. Because now, mm. like, I it, like, yeah, that's uh, like, remember what I said earlier, the quote of the day, overthinking is thinking. And I was just overthinking it. I'm like trying to like think about all these niche players. And it's like, there's just some bang obvious stars out there that have got double barrel yeah, surnames. Yeah. yeah, that's disappointing in myself on that one. That's all good. Appreciate it anyway. And uh, yeah, 19 points. That's all good. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you do drop a like if you did. Check out Nap, drop them a sub and all that good stuff. And we'll catch you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye bye.